Hello, I'm Dr. Joseph Allen, and today we're taking a look at the S5 lens insertion system from Augmented Vision Labs. If you have ever worn scleral or hybrid contact lenses, then you know firsthand that they can offer excellent vision and comfort. However, you've probably also noticed that they are much more challenging to get in and insert into the eye versus soft contact lenses. The most common challenges that patients face while inserting these lenses includes holding the eyelids wide enough apart, spilling the saline solution during the insertion process, or getting air bubbles trapped under the lens. The S5 lens insertion system was developed by Dr. Faiz Majoub specifically to address these challenges which were often encountered by his own patients. The system comes in two versions, the S5 Inserter and the S5 Mini. The S5 Mini features a compact design which is optimized for inserting the lens while sitting down, where the S5 Inserter features an adjustable arm which is optimized for insertion of the lens while standing. Let's take a look at how to insert a scleral lens while using the S5 system. Step 1. Place the suction base on a smooth, flat surface. Step 2. Press down on the suction base while pulling the black base lever upward until it locks into the vertical position. This will engage the suction of the base. Step 3. Connect the light unit to the top of the base lever. If using the standard S5 inserter, extend the telescoping arm to the desired height. Connect the light unit to the top of the telescoping arm. Step 4. Connect the rubber lens holder to the top of the light unit. Step 5. Now wash your hands with soap for 20 seconds and dry them with a lint-free towel. Step 6. Clean the rubber lens holder with a disinfecting alcohol wipe. It's important to allow the lens holder to dry completely before placing your contact lens onto the holder. Step 7. Clean the upper arm segment of the light unit, the part that twists, with a disinfecting alcohol wipe. Step 8. Now inspect the lens to make sure it's clean and free from damage, then place it onto the rubber lens holder. Step 9. Fill the lens bowl with a preservative-free saline solution that is approved by your doctor. Add the saline until the level rises above the edge of the lens. Step 10. Twist the top half of the light unit counterclockwise to activate the light. Lens Insertion Step 1. Use both hands to firmly hold your upper and lower eyelids open, placing your finger as close as possible to your eyelashes without holding down your eyelashes will give you the best grip on your eyelids. Step 2. Align your head directly over the lens, making sure that it's level with the surface that the base was placed on. Your chin should be tucked in toward your chest. Step 3. Keep both eyes open and slowly move your head down toward the lens until your eye makes contact with the saline solution in the lens. A pro tip here is to focus on the light as you move closer to the lens. The light will look perfectly round if you are lined up with the center of the lens. If the light does not look round, you need to adjust the position of your head until it does. Step 4. Once the lens makes contact with your eye, move your head back up and away from the device and slowly release your eyelids. The excess saline solution will typically spill out of the lens bowl when your eye makes contact with the lens. Step 5. Twist the top half of the light unit clockwise to turn off the light. Step 6. For your second eye, repeat the steps we covered to prepare your lens for insertion, turn on the light unit, and repeat the technique shown for how to bring your eye to the lens. As you can see, by holding the lens in place, the device gave me two free hands to hold my eyelids open and help counter my natural blink reflex. The LED light helped guide me to the center of my lens, which reduced the chance of spilling the saline solution due to a misalignment between the location of the eye and the lens. Because of these features, the S5 system allows you to insert your lens more quickly in fewer attempts with fewer air bubbles and less frustration.